Hi, I'm Dr. Naveen Vanga, and I'm going to be explaining the steps of intravenous catheter placement. As I explain each step, it's important to realize that the supplies and techniques may vary at other institutions, but the overall method is the same. As with any anesthetic procedure, the key to success is adequate preparation. Let's take a look at some of the supplies we're going to need. 4x4s, prep material, a tourniquet, a saline flush, a cap for the catheter, the catheter itself, a tegaderm, and optionally local anesthetic. Selecting the location of the intravenous catheter should involve some considerations. It is best to avoid regions involving the procedure. For example, if the patient is presenting for left elbow surgery, peripheral IV placement in the left arm should be avoided. Certain medical conditions should also be considered. For example, IV placement in the lower extremities is usually avoided in diabetics. Or patients with a history of a left mastectomy should have intravenous catheters placed on the contralateral side. After a limb has been selected, apply the tourniquet and identify a vein. After a vein has been selected, prep the skin generously. Apply the local anesthetic, creating a 5 mm skin wheel with care not to puncture the vein. Now we are ready to place the catheter. First apply traction to the skin, then insert the catheter through the skin approaching the vein. As you enter the vein, blood will enter through the catheter in what is called a flash. Advance the catheter one to two more millimeters and then thread the catheter. The vein has been successfully cannulated, but let's pause for a moment and take a look at some of the errors that are commonly made. The first common error is that the needle is passed too far going entirely through the vein, placing the catheter outside the vessel. Another common scenario is that the needle has entered the vein causing a flash but the catheter tip is not in the lumen of the vein preventing the catheter from threading properly. Proper placement calls for the needle to be inserted until the entire catheter tip is in the lumen of the vein and then the vein can be cannulated. Remove the tourniquet. Optionally apply some 4x4s under the catheter to keep the area clean. Place a catheter cap and then flush the IV. We are now ready to dress the catheter. Methods for dressing catheters are going to vary, but at the very least, apply a tegaderm to the site. The patient now has a successfully placed IV catheter. Learning to place an IV catheter can be challenging and even frustrating, but with enough practice, it is a skill that certainly can be mastered.